Hey everyone, today I'm going to be discussing how to not be a salesman. I think that a lot of people um, have the biggest fear of being labeled as a salesman or being too pushy. And this usually stems from some sort of bad experience they've had in the past. I think all of us have went car shopping and had that overzealous car salesman run across the lot and try to sell us whatever it is that he was trying to get off the lot or trying to get us in something that was way more expensive than what we needed. Um, I, as a coach, feel that it really pays to listen. Um, I know the one time I had a certain car that I wanted. I, I It was the features that I wanted, the color that I wanted, and the price range I knew that I needed to stay in. And what they had available on the lot was, you know, didn't match what I wanted or didn't, um, you know, it wasn't the right price. And um, I remember the salesman was like trying to get me in this um Hyundai Sonata. No offense if you drive a Hyundai Sonata, but that was a far cry from what I wanted. And he was just trying to push it. And, you know, he, he tried to get me in his office, and he was like, "I'll get the paperwork going." And the thing was, I didn't want that car, even if it fit my, you know, budget or whatever. Um, it's not what I wanted. And and I could have just because I set out that day to get a car, went home with one just you know, to say like, I did it. But you know, I really know that I was not going to be happy with it. And I wasn't going to settle for, um, you know, something that I didn't want. This is something that's very important when you're a coach is that you really need to listen to people. Um, I've talked about it in the past, especially recently. And that is that I don't really blast the, the, programs that are on sale each month, even though they're a great deal, you know, but I don't blast them every day, um, you know, copy and pasting the description from the coach online office or the team Beachbody website saying, you know, T25 or Brazil butt lift or whatever is on sale is on sale order now, because the thing is that program is not going to be suitable just for anybody. Not everybody's going to be able to keep up with, you know, even though it's 25 minutes, but keep up with Sean T or even if they're following Tanya, because it is a very fast moving program. Or if they're like me who hates cardio, they're not going to enjoy it. Brazil butt lift, it does provide an all over, you know, full body workout and it's an excellent program. You know, I had great results with it. And I know several coaches who have and, you know, several beach body challenge winners, but you know, if they don't like the program, then just because it's on sale doesn't do any good. Same thing, you know, why I tell everyone I deleted Groupon from my phone. I um, unsubscribe from the emails because we all do that. We find something that, you know, oh, you know, and Groupon's great, you know, it's 58% off of retail. And then you just think, oh my God, this is such a good deal. I can't pass it up. Next thing you know, you have all this stuff sitting in your closet that you're never going to use. And, you know, you feel guilty that you spent that much money. So, you know, this is where it really pays to to, you know, listen to people and to not come across as a salesman. So, um, one of the things I noticed, and I shared this with uh, somebody that I did a private one-on-one -on -one call with the other day, is one of the assignments in one of my uh, most recent training groups was to make a video just sharing your why, um, why you became a coach, and how Beachbody has changed your life, your health, you know, your your perspective, you know, whatever it is, and share it. And I was really surprised. I think I gave everybody five days, and everybody got it done before the five days. And you know, that's actually pretty um, impressive because usually I have to. Um, you know, get on people. Um, but you know, and even myself, the first time I had to do my video it was that, and it, I blew past the deadline that our regional sales manager gave us. So I understand. Um, but anyways, uh, one of the p people in the group, um, he did, he's had an excellent, excellent transformation. It wasn't just weight loss. It was, um, you know, health related, um, being able to get off some prescription medications. When we had our one-on-one -on -one call last week, I told him that, you know, I wasn't picking on him, but I noticed one thing that when he did the video, he was reading it off of a, a sheet of paper. Um, and that's fine. You know, if you've never done a video before, you know, it's hard and you're nervous and you want to make sure it's, you know, you've done it right. But one thing that I, I pointed is that, you know, this is his story. This is something that he is, you know, obviously in love with the beach body lifestyle because it's helped him and you know from what I can see he's not planning on um, stopping any time but you know it was his own words his own story he didn't feel confident enough to be able to share it with within a private group you know I did I did challenge everybody to post it publicly but it, that was not a requirement uh, but you know and I, I just asked him you know if he felt, you know, why he felt that he had to write it down. And um, so one of the assignments I gave him too is because, and this is something I'm going to share with everybody, is that most of the time we 
don't do things we should do. We don't try new things that we should try and could be good for us and steps out of our comfort zone because we're scared. We're scared of what other people are going to think. We're, we don't like ourselves. We don't believe in ourselves and we're not comfortable and it's something new. So we just don't do it. Well, in you know life, if you want to enjoy things to its you know fullest, you need to experience new things. If you're tired of where you're at, you have to try something different. It's just your life is just not magically going to change. Your, your relationship with your spouse is just not magically magically going to get better and your children's behavior is not going to magically going to get better your finances and your, your amount of debt is not going to get better um, your knowledge and your perception of life and the way you look at things is not going to get better unless you change something unless you do something to make it better so one of the things that I told him and I want to share this with everybody is that most of the time people are reluctant to you know go talk to somebody um, another person in the group said that somebody said, wow, you know, you're wearing your insanity shirt. Have you, have you done insanity? And, um, she said most of the time she, you know, before this group, um, before personal development, before believing herself, she would have been like, yes. And then that would have been in the conversation. Well, here you go. This is a huge opportunity that so many people have as coaches and they just seize up because they don't know what to say. They don't feel confident in themselves and they pass up this opportunity of somebody who they could help, somebody they could connect with. If you're not connecting with people, if you're not meeting new people, people if you're not sharing your story you're not going to go anywhere in this business you, you may go you know so far just off of the people you feel comfortable with but overall you're not going to see any growth um, as a person or in your capabilities of you know uh, visiting with people um, and not feeling you know completely on edge so one thing I told him is that I wanted him to work on sharing his story in video this doesn't have to be shared within the group it doesn't have to be shared with anybody but share it without notes because this is his story. There, there should be no notes needed. This is your story. There is no right or wrong answer. Uh, there is no right or wrong story. Share your share it. And then I told him what I want him to do because this is something I did because I was so nervous when I did my first video. And now, I mean, I have hundreds of videos and um, I do have some funny blooper outtakes because, you know, I get all tongue tied and, you know, I say the wrong date or, you know, I don't have my thoughts completely together. But overall, if you're watching my videos, it does appear that, you know, I do have a pretty good speaking ability and I'm confident. This didn't just happen overnight. The first time I did the video, um, I was given an assignment to get it done in <clears throat> I think two weeks. It took me three weeks and I put it off. I could have made it happen. I just didn't want to do it. Then it took me probably about 40 tries to get it right. And then again, you know, this, I'm not telling somebody to do something that I didn't. I was, I went through this. It took me about 40 tries to like what I had to say. And I mean, now looking back, I'm like, this was my story. There was no right or wrong. Um, but anyways, I was nervous. So once I got it done and I got one that I liked, um, I made myself watch it over and over and over again till I got completely comfortable with seeing my face, hearing my voice. And then instead of focusing on that, oh, my hair was like this, or I said, um, or I mispronounced a word, or I had a long pause, I focused on what I said. And then I just made myself keep doing it over and over and over and over again to where I am now that I can just sit in front of it and hit the button. And, you know, if I mess up, then I just say, oh, you know, whatever. And it's whatever. And then I basically start over again and just keep going. So this is what I told him. And this is what I want all of you to do. If you have a hard time talking to people, if you have a hard time um, sharing your story, then I want you to practice. Do it with yourself. Do it in the privacy of your home. Right now, I'm in my bedroom. Nobody can see me. Nobody can hear me. <clears throat> it's just me. And then go back and watch it over and over and over again. And until you become comfortable with seeing your own face, hearing your own voice, and then, you know, when you're watching it, put yourself in somebody else's shoes. When somebody says, you know, hey, I've been seeing you post all this stuff on Facebook and Instagram, and, you know, every time I see you, you're losing weight, and, you know, you're just talking about beach body this. Tell me a little bit more. You know, you don't want to miss this opportunity because somebody, you've been the product of the product. People are um, interested, and you have this chance to invite, and then, you know, fulfill some of the goals you have. So you want to make sure that you know what you're going to say. Um, it, you don't want it to be scripted. You don't want it to sound like you're reading off of, you know, index cards because then it doesn't sound natural. It doesn't come from you. And I know that that's not the way you want to come across and that's not how you're trying to come across. It's just that you are scared. So the, the best thing to me is to take little notes of the things you want to highlight so that you just don't ramble and, you know, go on because honestly, if somebody asks you a question, they don't want to hear a 50 minute story. They just want to get the gist of it and then they want to ask more questions and that's when you want to ask questions of them, engage in a normal conversation. You know, one thing that I told this person that I counseled this with is I told him if I were to ask you right now, how many kids do you have? How old are they? 
What are their names? He would have been able to be like, well, I have a boy that's this age and a girl that's this age and they were born in this and this and this and this and never hesitate. This should be just like this. This should just be part of your story that you share. So if you're not comfortable with it, what I suggest you do is get in front of the camera, practice, put yourself in the other person's shoes to see if you are actually convincing them that you mean this. If it looks like you're reading it, if it looks like you're in pain, if it looks like you're unsure, if, if the story you're telling is in question form, then you just need to think about how the people perceive it. There's nothing wrong with that. I think all of us started that way. But if you want to continue, if you want to reach your goals, you have to come, have a way of getting around it. So this is what you need to do. So I want you to practice that. I want you to practice getting comfortable with yourself, telling your story, um, and making this be something like just if you were to recite your date of birth, or your social security number, or your anniversary date. Well, I mean, that's not good because a lot of people forget their anniversary date, but you know what I'm saying. Um, this is... In this business, this is about relationship building. This is about being friends with people. So this is just a story you're telling your friend. If one of your best friends asked you this, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have as a big a problem. So if you start looking at everybody that you come across as a future best friend, because that's what I do with my people on my team. That's what I do with the people who are, you know, in my challenge groups is they become my friends. That's why I don't forget them because they're my friends. I learn about them. They learn about me. I share enough on Facebook where they feel like they know me. So this isn't just an acquaintance thing. This isn't, uh, oh, your customer number 552 and, you know, I need to write you down to remember. This is what we're doing. So this is what I really encourage everybody to do is to be able to get past that I'm a salesman and start thinking that this is my story. This is and, and your one line or your opening line is what's going to basically uh, convince somebody that you actually believe it or you're just, you know, reading something off of a cue card that, you know, the corporate office made you do. So this is something I want you to practice. Let me know how it goes um, and run it by me, you know, see, you know, if you get your final you know, video down send it to me, you know, post it in a group. If you're one of my people on my team, that way I can give you some pointers. But remember, be you. Don't try to share my story. Don't try to share somebody else's story. You don't try to be like comical in your video. If you're not a funny person, just be yourself, tell your story and then learn to like yourself, learn to believe in yourself. Remember that you have the gift. These people need you. And if they don't decide to join you and believe you right now, that's fine. You're going to keep going because you started this all about you, about your health, about your family, about your future, about the way you feel about yourself. So again, you're the one with the gift. They need you. You don't need them. Focus on believing in yourself. I hope that this exercise and what I just said helps you to really realize that you are not being a salesman. You're just sharing your story with a friend.